In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 12, verses 15 through to 21. But when Jesus knew it, he withdrew from there, and great multitudes followed him, and he healed them all. Yet he warned them not to make him known, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Behold, my servant whom I have chosen, may my beloved in whom my soul is well pleased, I will put my spirit upon him, and he will declare justice to the Gentiles. He will not quarrel nor cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and in smoking flax he will not quench, till he sends forth justice to victory, and in his name Gentiles will trust. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love, with the understanding of your word. Open our eyes to your teachings, that we too can trust in his name. In the scripture reading today from St. Matthew, we read how Jesus was healing many, many people. He had a following wherever he went. But yet he warned them not to make him known. Why? If you recall in many of the readings, how there are many people out to get him as well. How the Pharisees kept keep on pestering him and trying to trick him so that have something on him that they could then condemn him. In particular, the Sabbath, if you remember, many times we read in the, in the Gospels about them attacking him about what he was doing on the Sabbath. As they saw it was breaking the law of Moses. Politics is what it's all about. So often you see politics, you just need to turn your television on. Or even just your computers. And you'll see news bulletins, politics. Sadly, even within the church. I was watching something the other day, a program, which I thought was going to be uplifting, except it had the opposite effect. Here were these people, so-called scholars, even within the Orthodox Church, criticising the hierarchy. It was not uplifting. What I was watching was more degrading than anything else. I ended up turning it off. I thought to myself, I don't need this. What I need is something uplifting, spiritual. Not degrading the hierarchy. Yes, there are hierarchy who do make mistakes, yes. Heavens above, we are all sinners. But yet, does it have to be so constantly plastered on the media, bringing people's attention? What has happened? 
Why did Jesus warn them not to say anything? There's a little commentary that I put on the bottom of this. I'll read it to you. It's a commentary from the reading itself. Our Lord's refusal to fully disclose his identity as Messiah is foreseen by Isaiah. The reason for the secrecy include one, the growing hostility of the Jewish leaders. The people's misunderstanding of the Messiah as an earthly political leader. And our Lord's desire to invoke genuine faith, not based solely on marvellous signs. The servant refers first to Christ and by extension to all who follow him. The mission to the Gentiles after Pentecost was foreseen by Isaiah. This is what our mission is. To preach the good news of the kingdom of God. Not to join in on political issues that the media feed off. The good news is what is needed. Not downgrading the hierarchy, the bishops. I have a saying that I hang on to all the time. If you don't have something good to say about anybody, a certain person, don't say anything at all. Keep quiet. Don't feed the fires of gossip, downgrading anyone, whether it's the next door neighbor or whether it's the priest or the bishop, anybody. Everything that should come out of our mouths should be uplifting, spiritual to make everyone around us feel good. There's enough bleakness and darkness in the world now. We don't need to add to that. No. We need to uplift those around us. Just like Jesus did. By his preaching, by his healing of the sick. Those possessed the many miracles that Jesus healed that he that he did spread the word the good news about you stop the gossiping stop downgrading people we must show ourselves as true followers of Christ, as disciples of Jesus Christ. How do we do that? We don't do it by downgrading people. We are all sinners. Don't fall into that trap. Don't. Fall on your knees. And beg God to forgive you all those times you have fallen into that trap of Satan. He wants the church to be brought down low. Don't fall for that trap. Fight, fight, fight. Fight Satan every day. Pray to the Holy Spirit to help you. Read the scriptures every day to understand the teachings of Jesus Christ, to love your neighbor as yourself. Keep 
give God the glory every day for the many blessings you have received. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.